Um, Sergio is a person, uh, a human being, I dare to say. It's someone who learned to have the luxury of being curious, of learning. I'm trying to be kind of uh, as present as possible to my, uh, I have to say, to my benefit. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from, from quite a normative uh, family, right? What I, what I got from this was uh, respect for cleanness, for discipline. Uh, I, I never get bored, I have to say so I, 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 I get from everywhere. I only hope that I also am able to give. Yeah. So. I don't know, I had moments when I felt alone um, throughout my life. In front of a big exam, I had to go to, to that military school, which was in Kampulum, Moldovanesk. I really felt alone, very far from my nest, meaning from my mother and my father. But uh, it comes to, to my mind one moment when I really felt alone. I was working in three cities, Vienna, Munich and London. One night uh, I was in London and I woke up uh, and I wanted to go and have some water. And I didn't know where I am uh, in that moment. Yeah. No, I don't think I am I am becoming friends with the loneliness. I think uh, we are human beings and human beings long for each other. So I think that this is actually not my resistance to loneliness, but my reaction to, to loneliness. Funny in my career. So it's financial crisis, it's November. Then my boss calls me, you go to Moscow. But what am I supposed to do there? So I get to Moscow. I am being put in a hotel very close to the bank, very convenient. I had a beautiful room, six square meters, with two very big windows, which were taking me to the corridor, getting to the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> so I can tell you that in three weeks, I took my clothes, I think almost 12 times to the cleaners to the in cleaners. order to <laughs> take... In 2017, in June, July, when we always do our review, we were not coming inside the process performance we were looking at. And I really put lots of pressure, but like serious pressure. And I thought it's normal. And after that particular meeting, uh, someone came to me and said, um, you must be really out of your mind. I said, why? You are really, really, really putting a huge amount of pressure on Ellen. And that was for me, if we talk tipping points, that was for me a tipping point. And then I was looking at her and I was really very confrontational, right? I said, but why, why don't you tell me? Said, because you don't want to listen. That led to actually that we were starting a really massive transformation program in Bechere, along with, with the George launch in October 2018, enabled a big part of the company to actually come in the 21st century but actually the one who should have come first in the 21st century probably should have been me. And I was blinded by our collective success or the way we defined the success at that time. Eleni, we need to meet huh? uh, at some point. And, uh, and you will talk Greek. And uh, she's an amazing <laughs> person, by the way, and she's way, way funnier than me. So when <laughs> and if you meet her, you will realize that bankers can be funny. <laughs> I think... Our duty as leaders is actually to create context and also keep us in check. I think keeping people motivated is making them part of something. I think uh, pretending to know it all, I think it's probably the most common, uh, most common mistake we all do. Uh, by doing that, you are in fact disengaging cohorts of people, so not people, two, three, how many people we are, you know, cohorts of people around you. So this is one. Uh, and the second one is uh, pretending being something you are not. Living by standards of leadership of the moment, which in fact make you depart from yourself. My children are telling me that I should show more emotions, and be more open. My mom and my dad, the same. My friends will take me, I think, for a kind, funny person. So I need to practice more, I think, on my um, relationship with my children and with my parents. Openness, I think this is the most important thing. Then willingness, 
And uh, then third is the ability to own its his her identity, because in my opinion these are three key enablers of of a team player. Mm-hmm. For me, the birth of Luca and Petru were defining moments. I mean, to be very very clear, Luca is twenty, Petru is seventeen. Every meeting with them and every talk to them is defining for me because. I learn and I'm trying to be open. As I said, there are things which I need to practice better. You being normal in our club, being normal is a prerequisite. It's the most, you know, biggest prerequisite in order for somebody to be considered to be a member. So thank you very much for that. No, thank you very much. And I can assure you I'm smiling uh, from the bottom of my heart and I feel light as a feather. So. Thank you very much, Satiris, for taking the best out of me. I don't know how you do that, but you you get me to add points to the points of the card. So okay. I'll give you 20 this time, okay? Yeah, I, I think it's a trick. Because <laughs> I think it's a trick because actually the, the 100 points deliver 10 books. Not the hundred points deliver only five books, and I think you are thinking I about the benefit of the school. I don't know what you're talking about. Really, <laughs> I mean, I, I, really, I don't know. I, I'm, okay. Joking, okay, okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. Great. <laughs>